Round two, Laban Kung Laban. Itong si Thea, kumakata with her eyes, ang galing. Oh, sabi niya, mata niya. Kasi with dynamics, oh. Oh, ay, ay, ito ang sumayaw. Parang kumakata ng sasalita. Hindi madali yun. Sarap ng birit niya. Ay, kala ko maubusan na gini na si Nef. Pero napaka... Silky voice. Ang sarap ko, ay ikaw pa. Parang gusto ko siyang yakapin doon. Ang ganda. Ganun eh. Parang may sabit lang ng phlegm din siya. Kaya maako, pero style, maganda rin. I would call it a sighing. Sigh, digha. Hindi naman digha'y sa kain yun yata. Pagkain, dumidigha'y. Yung buntong hininga. Hi. Yun kasi ang style yun, ha, ha, dadaan ng hangin lagi dito sa vocal cords to the throat. Nakaka-dry yan, actually, no? But, um, bata kasi si Nef, eh. Tapos yung um, the demand of the style niya is entails a lot of air passing through the throat passage, no? Nakakahapo yun in the sense yung breathing mo is a different... Uh, you have to be uh, very strong in your breathing stamina to sustain this uh, style of singing. Beautiful transition to the head voice. Uh, may meron siyang control in his dynamics, the ability to express it perfectly with emotion. That's net for you. Um, in comparison to uh, Thea, Thay was a fresh, uh, total package. Not only a beautiful voice, musically intelligent, um, young, very good. Uh, well, Neff as well is very articulate in the text. Tagalog or Englishman. Uh, si Thaya din, ganun din. In this sense, um, we don't know what the judges really would choose. Um, I would say both of them are are good and in their voice ranges, their lows and their highs. They have a good command and control and they know their um, capacity kung saan lang aabot o hindi. Kaya lang parang mas nag towards Thea because of her um, sustainability and stamina and sustaining that high chest tone sa taas. Ganda ng boses sa itong batang ito. Parang ako na sa Disney. Lumilipad sa carpet. Makanta siya. Ganun ang, ganun ang stilo niya, ni Alina. Oh, di ba? Oh, pag-ibig, pag-ibig, you know, pag-ibig. Di ba? Bumigay niyo sa niyang, ano, dahil sa mo, kaya. Ayan naman. Nakakaubos po yun ng, ano, stamina. Pero, na-over lang. Maganda, pero na-over lang. O, yan na naman. Nice. 
Ganda nung isang niya. Yung ala-ala, hala-hala. Uy, ka Ako po yung napapagod, sorry po. Matanda na po ako. Go! Let's go! Go! Marunong pareho si Alina at saka si Luis mag uh, uh, phrasing. Yun nga lang na sobrahan si Luis sa uh, enunciation ng K at saka H niya. Yung A, ala-ala, hala, minsan na nalagyan ng H siguro. Um, minsan sa pagod din yun at saka yung posture na affect na lumabas na yung hangin ganun. So actually the back muscles has to be really uh, very um, strong and sturdy to support that kind of control sa bosses. Si Alina, maganda ang bosses niya na she was able to express um, the long lines. She has uh, a good sense of uh, phrasing and uh, her diction was very good. I, I, but I would like to see and listen to her again when she gains more experience in her performance practices in singing and maybe also emotional uh, depth in terms of life experiences. Baka kailangan pa niya ma-in love. Nag-iisa, nag-iisa na naman Oh, bakit ba? Walang kadala-dala Grabe, attitude ng bata. Maganda. Happy! The groove is there. Very musical yung bata. Go, Angel. Hala. Naiyak tuloy ako. Parang may hugot siya, ano? Nararamdaman ko yung hugot niya sa boses mo. Don't give it, don't, don't give away. Oh, na iya. Tell me why. Ayan, naka recover. Did we find each other? Very emotional um si Angel sa kanyang interpretation. Minsan nakakatakot yung naiiyak kasi usually when you cry, uh, naiiyak ka yung what happens in a chichok, ka close ito and then yung diaphragm mo just suddenly collapses. So the support of the tones is not easy to sustain and sing emotionally involved ka na and then naiiyak. Those things happen inside you, in your body. But um, the professional way is to uh, be able to recover. And she did that. Nagawa niya. As compared to Lorraine, um, um, nakita ko yung mas may command si Lorraine sa kanyang range. She knows her high and low range with command and uh, does it uh, well, because she's able to sustain, especially her high chest tone, and in fact, nag and yung yung style ng uh, gospel type of dang ending, you know, in lifting of the palate, the on. It's a mixture between the chest and the head voice. That's a technique being used. Okay, also she has a good command of that. Lorraine did that so well, plus her attitude with the song. The ability to keep the groove of the song with with her direction, no? The ability to su to sustain the the feel and the groove of the song. Kailangan mag-show ng variation pa ito si Sasa. Huwag lang isang stilo. But she is a good, excellent singer. Para sa Amerika, nice cool work. Nice cool work. Open vowels. Pero okay na. Stilo. Mataas ka na baba. 
Oops, may fish nga blider. Ayan. Ito yung strength niya. Galaw lang niya. Stay put, anak. Galaw lang dito. Nice. Good. Good control. Dynamics. Oops. Ang na. Naku, yun na yun. Sa'yo. Kung ako mo. Ayun na naman po tayo. Sa za sa za magandang vocalist yung inyong combination anyway sorry po sorry po ah relax go back going back um yun ang bumigay ah intonation yung importante yung ating ability to to be in tune when we change keys and the style uh, i think the she was very nervous and uh, so she has actually a very strong voice is zadi and then uh, her high chest tones are really really solid but at this performance okay this is all boils down to the performance at that instant you'll be judged by high and low range so sasa has more command of her range and but it was not perfect there are also some quirky uh, transitions there so i think it's it's the one sasa did it better Ito ang tuwa pati si Christian, no? O pati yung flashers. Napakagaan ng kanyang loob. Ay! Lahat sumasaya sa studio pati ako yung gumaganin. Napakaganda ng baritone voice niya. Very distinct. Very musical. Nasa tempo. Hindi madali itong kanta ito kahit sabihin nyo ang ilang siya. Uy, munti ka! Ito na! Ops! Medyo napaklap ng kaunti! Oh, napangiti din siya na ako siya. Sa ages yata ito, no? Nagginawang ready. Ang character ni Sophia was really, ang attack niya is rock. Pero the tempo was in reggae. Bumagay naman. Um, kaya lang nas malakas ang attack naman ni Marlon. Kasi, ewan ko ba, parang magic nung kumanta siya na yung charm niya. Pero yung boses niya, simple lang. Simple lang. Pero lahat sila, lahat, both of them sang in the mid-range. I think it's it's really how na control mas lalo ni, ni Marlon uh, yung kanyang boses pag-attack dun sa awitin yun. Oo, tama si Lani. Suwabe. Super. Oo, mas relax si Nef. Surprisingly, he's more relaxed, but ano? Mas may control siya ngayon. Sarap naman o. 
Yes, I agree, Lani. I agree. Umalapan talaga si Nek. Hospital Director. Oh, say, hindi, hindi smooth yung ano, transition. Nag-antay. Ang pangarap mo ay magkakamtan Basta't maghintay ka lamang Very strong voice. Ito is the elevator. Oh! Sana yung naman yung mic na dito. Hindi na-pick up yung voices niya, oh. I think Nef is really the wild card choice here. I really feel because of the freshness of his approach, his connection with the song, and the ability to express. That was what I think the judges were looking for. Ako po si Julia San Jose. And if you like this video, just subscribe to the Clash's official YouTube channel. Thank you!